Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to tell you about some big important news in affordable housing. It was just reported that one of the top 10 home builders in the US has launched a community that will use automation to improve affordability, and they're calling it Factory in the Field. If you've ever found yourself in my little corner of the internet that has been loosely compared to daytime talk shows of yesteryear, you're probably thinking to yourself, here goes old Flappy Gums on another eight minute bender about prefab homes, and usually, you'd be right. However, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that building offsite is the one and only sector making advancements in housing, especially when I see stories like this one unfolding in a parallel industry with a similar goal, affordability. The press release states that Century Communities is now selling homes online with walls that are being built with additive construction methods. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, check out the homes they're building, and get into the pricing. First things first, anytime a top 10 builder implements a new build strategy that's significantly different than what they've been doing, I think it's probably worth checking in on what they're up to. Since I spend most of my time following the goings-ons in the prefab home industry, I didn't actually know much about Century Communities or where they fit into the top 10 of US home builders, but a quick search led me to a list put together by Multifamily Dive. According to them, it looks as though they're the ninth biggest builder by closings behind Clayton Properties Group and in front of LGI Homes based on the number of closings in 2021. To get there, they had revenue for the year of $4.2 billion from 10,805 closings. Those are numbers. <laughs> Big ones. It's worth noting that the list is just on site builders because if offsite constructed homes were taken into account, Clayton would shoot way up the list with their almost 50,000 offsite constructed homes built in 2021. It's not really relevant to what I'm talking about, but it had to be said. The Century Communities website says they've been building since 2002 around a vision of a home for every dream in sought after metros from coast to coast, specializing in everything from single family homes to townhomes, paired homes and condos. It's noted that they're in 18 states over 45 markets across the US. The homes in question today are being built under their name Century Complete, which are advertised as affordable and streamlined. Century Complete offers built-in savings through a groundbreaking online purchase process. And apparently the way they have it set up is you can buy one of their homes online in about the same amount of time it takes to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. They must be pushing to move on up from the ninth spot because they're working with Diamond Age 3D, a Phoenix-based startup that prints concrete walls on site with a look that people are used to seeing. They say the homes are energy efficient, noise reducing, strong and durable, are high quality and have a traditional look and feel. They bring up an interesting point that I've never thought of before. A lot of 3D printed homes have a look that people might shy away from because it's different. I look at it like my approach to fashion or lack thereof. I like to wear things that I'm used to. You might have noticed I don't take a lot of risks with my wardrobe aside from the fit, which people seem to comment on all the time, but I think it's actually the chair. I'm not sitting here in a circus tent. By printing the concrete walls in a way that looks like a traditional house, they might be appealing to a wider audience. I would be interested to hear what people think about this in the comments. Basically, the question is, would you prefer a plainer traditional look to a clearly 3D printed look? Let me know. By utilizing Diamond Age's 3D printing technology, apparently a home can be built on site from start to finish in 30 days and requires 50% less manual labor. The way their factory in the field works is they set up one platform per day for seven days and rotate fittings between the job sites until day seven when the walls of the first home are printed, cut, sprayed, and painted, and platform one is moved to job site eight and around and around we go. The fittings on the printer for each platform are moved instead of the home, and they think their approach will change the economics of home building and increase the opportunities for home ownership, which is great, I'm all for it. On top of that, Factory in the Field is a pretty clever name, so let's check out a few of the homes that people will actually be able to buy. The first Community Century is implementing their new build process is in Casa Grande, Arizona called Mountain View Estates. The press release said homes would be listed for sale in the upper 200,000, so I automatically assume they would be $299,999.99, but not the case. Consider me refreshed. The description says, step into the new age of home building with 3D printed new homes for sale in Casa Grande from Century, yada, yada, yada. Our proprietary new line of robotically printed homes infuses signature floor plans with innovative concrete composite walls, blending our tried and true look with modern construction techniques for a new home that's strong, 
stylish, and sustainable. It goes on to say some of the amenities the community is located near, but it's all the usual suspects, dining, shopping, rec, you know the drill. They have three floor plans available, ranging in size from 1,400 square feet to 1,900 square feet, and they weren't joking. They really do look like traditional homes you'd see in any town USA. The smallest of the three options is a 1,477 square foot home they call the Radiant. They have three options for the exterior of the home and from least to favorite, they go elevation A, elevation B, and finally the one I'd be selecting, elevation C. Obviously I'd take price into consideration if elevation C is way more expensive, I'd also consider B. The Radiant has a two-car garage to the left of the entrance. Through the entrance, there's a bit of a landing to gather your thoughts and pile your junk. Then you're marching right up on bedroom two. Past that is the bathroom before bedroom three. Across from bedroom three is the laundry area, which is a good place for it, close to what would likely be kids' bedrooms if it's in use as a family home. A couple more steps and it opens up on the left to the kitchen, dining room, and great room that has a sliding glass door to the patio. And the main bedroom is on the other side of the home. It's a pretty sweet layout, but let's see what the two larger options have going for us. In the middle of a pack of 3D printed homes coming from Century Complete is the 1656 square foot Emerald. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom layout that's similar in some areas, but different in others. Same deal here with three exterior options to choose from exterior A, B, and C. In the Emerald model, we've got a very similar entrance and bedroom two and three layout, but that's really where the similarities end. Beyond that is where things really shake up. The hall enters into the kitchen, the great room is on the right, and at the end of the home, the dining room has access to the patio on one side and into the main bedroom on the other. All things considered so far, the first choice for me is going to be the Radiant because I just like the layout better. The final option from Century is a four bedroom, two bathroom home that's a whopping 1901 square feet called the Marquee. Inside you're looking at an entrance that lands almost directly into the great room. The great room, kitchen and dining room are all open in the same space which I like and the bedrooms are split. The main bedroom is off the great room, has an ensuite with double sinks and what looks to be a huge walk-in closet. Bedrooms two, three and four, the bathroom, laundry room, and entrance into the garage are all located on the front side of the home. If you're looking for a little more space for activities, probably a good option, but overall, I still think I like the Radiant best. Maybe that's just me. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their pricing, but keep in mind, pricing can and usually does change but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The Radiant is listed at $263,900, the Emerald $283,900, and the Marquee $303,990, all at their Mountain View Estates community in Casa Grande, Arizona. Lot sizes or any HOA fees aren't currently listed on the site, but the prices do seem fairly reasonable for a new single family home. I find it very interesting to see a top 10 home builder implementing a new build strategy called factory in the field to cut down on construction time and manual labor needed to get the homes done. I think it's a really cool idea that'll work well in large communities like Mountain View Estates that they can just bang them off lot after lot. Century Communities has implemented automation to the construction process by way of 3D printing technology from Diamond Age 3D. It looks like what they've got won't look much different than the traditional home we're all used to seeing and I think that'll appeal to a lot of people because change can be scary. At this point anything that's going to speed up a build process and improve efficiency and affordability has my attention so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.